I'll now take us to the beginning. So essentially, before we can do any kind of resourcing, we need to have workers set up in the system. So I'm going to go through and create a quick worker and just show you the tie-in between the worker in the system and the resource in the project management accounting module. So I'll just start by creating a new worker. Right, hopefully he's not out there. Okay, so I'm going to hire this worker in the system. Now, normally when dealing with workers in the system and you know that they're going to interact with the project management accounting module, you have a project tab out here on your worker where you can come through and you can do some additional setup for that particular worker. You also have within the HR module, the ability to identify competencies, skills, certificates, things like that, that are associated to your worker. So what I'm gonna do here is give this employee a new skill. Let's just give it accounting. Put a date in there as well. Okay, so what you have with the HR module is the ability to track competencies on workers that can be used via the HR module. These skills and competencies, education, things like that, they are also used in the project management and accounting module to help assist in finding the proper resources to work on your projects. So there's some sharing of information between these competencies in HR and the project side. So after entering my worker, the next step I would need to do is make sure if I want to use them as a resource, I could set him up as a resource in the project management and accounting module. So the first thing I'll do is just head out to my resource list, which is going to be a list of everyone I've already set up. And I'll create a new resource. And what you're presented with is essentially the worker drop down, and it'll be anybody who's not already been set up as a resource in the system. So that's the one I had just created. We're going to assign him a default calendar. So I'll assign him that standard calendar and the period code, which would basically be his timesheet period code. And then I can create that resource. All right, so all right, so here's my resource that we just set up. So what I wanted to point out here, the ability to enter competencies either at the resource level or at the HR worker level, you'll see that they pass through. So I'm on the worker that I had set up in HR. I put the accounting skill on that worker in HR and it's visible on his resource in the project management accounting module.